The Russian Ministry of Defense seeks to completely oust the founder of Wagner private military company Yevgeny Prigozhin from the public space, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine said at the end of February. All because of his conflict with the Minister of Defense of the Federation Sergei Shoigu. Prigozhin complains that the Wagnerites are not supplied with sufficient ammunition, and he was personally deprived to access to the top leadership of the state. Moreover, experts call the liquidation of Russian propagandist Vladlen Tatar Tarski, close to the founder of Wagner, a personal hello to Prigozhin. This conflict continues. Who will emerge victorious? Most likely the Ministry of Defense and the General Staff. They sharply limited supplies and ammunition for the Wagnerites. Prigozhin has problems in recruiting personnel. In addition, he did not fulfill the promise he made. He said that he would take Bakhmut until September. He began to criticize the Russian regular army, although he himself did not fulfill his promises. Vadim Skibitsky, deputy head of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, in an interview with RBC Ukraine. Russia plans to find an alternative to Wagner PMC. The British Ministry of Defense believes that the Kremlin wants to deal with mercenaries who are easy to control, and this despite the fact that mercenarism in Russia is a criminal offense. This takes place in the context of the high-profile fought between the Russian Ministry of Defense and Wagner Group. Russia's military leadership likely wants a replacement PMC that it has more control over. Russia likely sees continued utility for PMCs in Ukraine because they are less constrained by the limited pay levels and inefficiency which hamper the effectiveness of the regular army, from the report of the UK military intelligence on Twitter. In Britain, they also assume that the Russian leadership may believe that the population will perceive large-scale losses of mercenaries more calmly than the death of regular army soldiers. And only under Bakhmut PMC Wagner lost tens of thousands of people. At the same time, the federal statistics of non-combatants, including mercenaries, do not take into account. In order to hide the number of killed, they are thus trying to absolve themselves of responsibility for military crimes. That is, they can say that it's not us, it's some kind of formations that are not subordinate to anyone. It's not clear where they took money from. It's not clear why they got weapons. Maybe they took it from the Ukrainians on the battlefield. Maybe they really committed there, but these are bandits, and we are already trying to fight the bandits. It is always very convenient to throw off the official dome on an incomprehensible formation. In addition to the Wagner PMC, members of the private companies Redut Antiterror, Liga and Patriot are fighting against Ukraine. The last is personally supervised by Russian Defense Minister Shoigu. A new private military company has also appeared in Russian annexed Crimea. The head of the occupation administration of the peninsula, Sergei Aksyonov, was appointed responsible for it. In total, there are at least 10 private military companies in Russia, and if 10 years ago they were involved in military military operations in two or three countries, then after 2015 the geography was significantly expanded. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Valeria Nikipilova, UATV News.